Hey guys, this is Maliha, and today I want to talk about the download options of Canva Pro account and Canva Free account. So, this is my primary Canva account. It's a Pro account, and it has a lot of different download options as opposed to a free account. So, let me start with the free account first. Let me switch to a free Canva account. This is a free Canva account, and this here is an Instagram template. And let me show you the download options you have with this. So if you go to download up top right here, and you can see that I have a lot of grayed out options here, meaning I do not have access to those. And you can also tell by the crown sign next to these options. And since I'm not a Canva Pro account holder in this account, I cannot use those. In terms of downloading, you can go up here, file type, and you can see that even with a free account, you have quite a few different options for download. For example, PNG, JPEG, PDF standard, PDF print, MP4 video, and GIF files. Or GIF files. I can never know what the right pronunciation is. But anyway, um, so these are the file types that you can use. There is one file type, the SVG file type that has a crown sign next to it, meaning that free users cannot download a design as an SVG file. Now, depending on your level of use, you may not need an SVG file option, but if you use Canva to design a logo or icon, for example, then you would want to have that option because SVG files or scalable vector graphics file types are recommended and standard file types for logos, icons, etc. So this is the free account. Now let me switch back to the pro account. And I have here a design that um, I'm going to use and show you kind of the different types of download options. So for example, let me use a logo from logo templates. How about this one? Cool. So this is a logo from Canva's um, template library. And I just want to show you the different download options with this. So right away, you can see that I have um, you know, access to the transparent background feature, compressed file. I can change size over here. I can also, uh, on top of using the free file types, um, I can also download the design as an SVG file. So this is something cool about the Canva Pro feature because you have a lot of different options. For example, let's say that I want to save my logo file as a transparent background SVG file. So to do that, first I'm going to make sure that the background is pure white because this template here has a colored background and you cannot save a file with transparent background when there is a color in the background. So I will change that, just hit delete and get rid of the background. Now I can save it as a transparent background SVG file. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this list, click SVG, and then I'll make sure to check the transparent background option right here. Then if I download it, this is going to be a um, transparent background logo file in SVG file format. So as you can see, these are all the different types of options that you have. The other thing I want to talk about is um, the compressed file option. So let's say that you are designing or you're creating a blog graphic. For example, let me switch to a different design. Let's say that this is a blog graphic and you want to save it for using in your blog posts. So often what happens for blogger, bloggers is that you want to have small file sizes because one of the biggest culprits for having really slow websites are big, large image files. So that's why I like to do a couple of things. First of all, I like to change the size. And for my specific website, I try not to have um, images that are any bigger than 1200 by 1200 or maybe even smaller than that 800 
by 800. Depends on your website and the kind of image dimensions you're using on your blog. So after changing the size, I can hit the compress file. It's going to automatically compress the image file that's going to be downloaded in your computer. So this is one way of optimizing the images that you're going to use on your website. And then you can download. So anyway, these are some of the, you know, um, additional features that you can have if you have Canva Pro. Then you have these, you know, different types of settings and options that you can use before you even download a design. Um, hopefully uh, this was useful to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!